Dr. Paul here. You're going to love this next video. This is a surprise one. It's pretty intense. Probably not for minors. Um, yeah. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Good morning, guys. We're here at Dr. Ryan Wood's office. My mom is about to get an invasive procedure. She's having back pain. Dr. Wood's going to inject big, giant needles into her back. Uh, I'm going to film it, and I'm going to share it with you guys. So that's what you're getting into if you continue watching this video. Um, a little more of my personal life. All right, let's do it. I can give you a half a hydro. That's all I have today. So it's just two and a half milligrams. You know, incidentally, when people have certain nerves that are irritated, you can find that they develop this sort of like fatty lump around them. I can look at it under ultrasound, I can show the nerve and it's embedded in this inflamed little tissue sac. And you know, for you, you palpate this fatty little lump and if you palpate hard enough, it really hurts, right? Yeah. And the nerve is embedded in that fatty little lump and it's your body's way of creating sort of a capsule around the irritated nerve to try to protect it. And so as I started to do more perineural injection therapies and or like nerve hydrodissection techniques where you're actually putting a needle next to the nerve and liberating the nerve or treating the nerve with a calming agent or even an anesthetic, what happens is you notice that A, the nerve pain goes away, but also those little lipomatous areas where the body has inflamed the tissue around the nerve reduces. Okay. Okay. Show you. Take a deep breath, lady. Your hands are trembling. I'm trying not to. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just I'm gonna get things prepped. So I've got my wife here, Jessie, and she is going to hold my mom's hand while I film this procedure for you and bring you guys along. So show my mom some love in the comment section for being willing to share this. This is personal, this is painful, and this is kind of private, but we're gonna show it to you anyway because she's okay with that. She's a trooper. Maybe you learned something. Don't do it. This is like a really, it just like shows everything. So let's get. Alright, do a push up, plank. Okay, back Look down. at that. Did you see that? Yeah, right? that's pretty impressive. Let's go, lady. Okay, I'm going to bring you down here, right? I'm going to see some buns. There we go. You got buns. And if you like, I wish there was, there should be buns of steel with all the work I've done, but I, not yet. We'll get there. Pretty good. It's just an easy way for me to kind of get, sorry, this is cold. It's kind of an easy way for me to get a sterile field. Can I stick you something? No, you're good. I got it. I was supposed to get a new table this weekend. I custom made one. So this is one of the bigger problems of being a solo practitioner. Doing everything by yourself, basically. Yeah. Thank you much. Okay. Awesome. Woo! -hoo. Shoot, um, maybe I'll come out of retirement. To Seriously. <laughs> I mean, this is like, this is all I, you know. Kind of I think I'm overqualified, but I'm ready. <laughs> I'm willing to and come down. Tools. Pretty cool research out right now on stellate ganglion blocks, which I do a lot of that using Neropin, um, it changes the actual epigenetics of the nerve itself, which is fascinating to even consider. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with a sweet bottle with the girl. Tattoo artist in here, we start doing some tattoos while we're doing some. That thing is What's, are you going to get another tattoo? What? Alright, that one stick. Usually you have to do several of them over a period of weeks. You know, I, the way I do it is like one a week for several weeks. And, and what you find is just a you know, daily reduction in pain that'll come and ebb and flow. And over weeks, it starts to really reduce back pain. More pain that's neurogenic in nature. My, you got a little pinch, okay? So in other words, you have pain that's from nerves being really flared up and irritated. 
this treatment can really help. But it's sort of a, again, it's a, it's an overtime thing. You're trying to calm the nerves over time. Maya, I'm being really nice to you. I'm putting lots of anesthetic in, okay? Normally, I just kind of go for this. I'm trying to go right now. Yeah. And I ran out of, um, I ran out of my normal needles I use for this. So. Okay, you feel a little pinch, all right? Mm -hmm. You feel a little thunk here in a second. Yep, you all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you might remember you might get a little pressure back here, okay? So I use the Doppler scan just to prove that I've got epidural flow. So that flashing color is what? That's the tip of my needle. That's where I'm pushing fluid. It's in the, it's in the caudal epidural space. So when I'm pushing it, you get, uh, it's called Doppler scan. It's the setting on the ultrasound that measures flow. So you can use it to look at vascular. I use it a lot to check and see if people have clots in the back of their knees or I've not had training on cardiac and I don't really want to, but um, I've got some colleagues that, you know, like to do cardio, echocardiograms and things and that's... Alright, you're going to feel a little pinch, okay? I'm going to touch you with the needle. You alright? You're going to feel a little pinch. There it is. Sorry. It's okay. And this is going to sting a little bit because I'm right in, the, right, I'm in the ballpark right now, okay? That's a nerve right there. You know, I think I've been staring at ultrasound since about 2015. And yeah, it hurt, didn't it, Maya? Sorry about that. I touched that nerve a little bit too close. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. And, you know, I gotta admit, when I first started looking at nerves, sorry, Maya, I'm right on the nerve. It's okay. Are you alright? Yes. You sure? I'm pop. Okay. Pop. I'm gonna try and pop it off the fascia right here. There we go. Maya, well, I'm gonna touch your skin with the needle, okay? Okay. Possible, but it's just really difficult to do. Don't jump out and say, "Hey, look at me, I'm a nerve." You know, one of the one of the things is you're you're looking for landmarks and you're looking for tenderness, and I think that's the sort of the key to this. You have to be able to feel the nerve, which is bizarre. Nobody ever told me, "Well, you could palpate a nerve," and I, I mean, I went to chiropractic college and. My first doctor was in chiropractic medicine, and they were like, yeah, you can feel all kinds of weird stuff. I didn't believe them. 15 years later, I'm pretty confident I can feel a nerve. Mm. That's not something that, you know, was taught. I wasn't taught, hey, Ryan, this is a nerve. You can put your finger here and you'll feel that. And it wasn't like a class in school. Um, there, I just touched the nerve, she just jumped. 
I'm just trying to get it so that what happens is nerves get embedded in fashion. That's normally where they live. Sorry, Maya, you okay? I know you're trembling a little bit here. This one's really flared up. I, I met this guy a long time ago. His name is Tom Myers. He's, uh, he wrote this book called Anatomy Trains. I think he's brilliant. He was, uh, just did a lot of dissection on human bodies and what he learned was that the fascia, um, there are planes of fascia in the human body. And that those fascial planes connect, you know, like your big toe to your occiput. And you can show these, we call them anatomy trains. You know this book called anatomy trains up there on the wall a lot of pain syndromes and things but one of the things I learned from Tom was that nerves ride inside fascia and if so when you're looking at nerve pain a lot of times nerves get impinged impinged when they're traveling between different fascial planes or going from one muscle to another muscle through the fascial tissue and that's really helped me figure out that that there are entrapment places right there, Maya. Is that is that really tender right there? Okay. Your nerves a little high right now. Emotional. You okay? Yeah. Okay. You want me to stop? No. Right there. All right, Maya. Okay. You let me know when I'm there, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You all right? I tell a traditional physician that I'm doing this and they kind of shake their head and think I'm a whack job. That's fine. Because then you get Irma or you get Maya who says, no, that really helped. You gave me one relief from those other doctors. Am I in your way, Doc? No, you're good. Don't worry right there. See it? Oh, that hurt, sorry. Okay. See the nerve right above my needle tip. Man, I'm smoking nerves, man. You okay? Yeah. Okay, it hurts a bit, <laughs> doesn't it? Does that go down your butt cheek at all? No. Good. What's it feel like, Maya? The stabbing. And stabbing pain, and then like when you you hit a nerve like an elbow, kind of. Kind of sounds electrical shock. Yeah, yeah. You don't need any ballpark. Awesome. Well, I actually appreciate hearing that. Are you okay, Noah? Oh, yeah. I gotta find a way for you to be YouTube famous for different reasons. No kidding, huh? You know what? No one understands that better than a retired trauma nurse. There you go. You know, it's, I think, yeah, that's the best part. Any ER doc that I talk to or like trauma nurse, or, they're like, oh yeah, I totally understand what you're talking about. You love your job. It's a little sick and twisted. How you doing? Okay. Was that terrible? It's okay if it works. I'm a tough old bird. 
Yeah, I use really tiny needles, so I don't think it hurts too bad. Personally? Yeah. Personally. <laughs> no, I've, okay. done, I've had all this. I've done all this myself. Oh. I think you're, you're yeah. on a, on a, you've been on an adrenaline now for a couple of weeks. Yeah. That's true. Endless. I won't do any CrossFit moves. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Oh, thanks for letting me have fun. <laughs> too much. Thanks for watching, Dr. Paul. See you next time.